I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. On our last short series of The Rough Draft Diaries, we tried to cover every aspect of life under quarantine, with each episode being organized by a different topic. Now, there were only five Wednesdays last month, so only five episodes, which means a lot of topics were left on the table. One thing I wanted to talk about was politics. Luckily for me, on this new series, where I interviewed previous guests of the show, I have interviewed a politician before. Although he wasn't technically a politician at the time of our interview, but it was obvious that he was thinking about it. Sam's feeling a bit under the weather today as he stayed up a little too late watching political coverage of this year's presidential election. It's really fun. So that's what we did last night. And then I feel awful, and so I didn't sleep enough. And then I woke up this morning and... Excuse me. Sam doesn't seem... (laughs) That's Sam Meldon, who at the time was watching coverage of Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump competing for the presidency. That was August of 2016. Seems like forever ago. At the time, Sam was working for Leadership Toledo. Now he's got a new job title, and he's feeling much better than our previous interview. Get to wear two hats that I'm very, very proud to be a part of, and that's one, I'm the Director of Strategic Engagement for the Ability Center of Greater Toledo, and I also am the District 5 representative on Toledo City Council. So a lot has changed for Sam since we chatted all those years ago, but a lot has changed just in general over these past few months. I don't think Sam or anyone else was prepared to start this year with a global pandemic. Yeah, I'm in a, in a really just collaborative environment everywhere I go. I mean, if you think about my role on city council, I'm one of 12 members looking out for uh, what is best for every resident of our city. And then also just trying to, you know, make sure that different committees are, are, are getting what getting done what they need to get done and that there's a nice check and checks and balances structure to our local government and bringing representation. So in something like this coronavirus disruption takes place, on one hand, it it grinds everything to a halt. On the other hand, it makes the job more important and more alive and active than ever. Sam mentioned the stimulus check as an example, how many community members had questions and concerns regarding how they would receive the check, when they would receive the check, if it would affect unemployment benefits. Does filing for taxes affect the stimulus check? Should they file now? Should they file later? Questions like that. It's keeping Sam and City Council on their toes as they navigate these changes alongside the community. You know, it's been really interesting to think through how, uh, in in many ways, the hierarchy and, and kind of bureaucracy even of government structures really are a very, very helpful construct in moments like this. So you think about locally, there was never a question Um, from the government side, where we were going to either get our information or how we were going to um, disperse that information. Um, You know, you have you have structure built in. I think one of the things that that city council, I know at least I can speak for myself, what I've been thinking about is who's kind of left out of that structure or what information is left out of that structure and who can help get it to people if and when they need it. One avenue of information has been the daily conferences with Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, or Wine with DeWine, as it has been affectionately called. DeWine has received notice nationally for his quick response to the COVID-19 crisis. I actually have friends in England who now know his name. It's leadership that is even celebrated across party lines. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderfully. Um, Which is really, really great. I mean, you know, Lucas County and, and elected officials in Lucas County, because it's mainly, you know, Democrat um, driven, they have an odd relationship with the state house because it's mainly Republican driven, right? So it's kind of an interesting setup. But the truth is, everyone here has been very, very proud of the way that DeWine and his team have led through this. And I think my take on him at this moment is um, he's really doing a great job of showing to everyone that he doesn't have to be the smartest person in the room. The job of a leader is not to be the smartest person in the room. It's to elevate the right voice at the right time. And what he's done by listening to Dr. Amy Acton is amazing. And uh, I think when you listen to professionals and experts and, you know, you're (laughs) bold enough to get out of the way and and let people lead, good good things happen. And he's done that. and, And that's an incredible compliment to him. 
Seeing unity across party lines is an odd positive from this quarantine. But Sam believes there are a handful of odd positives through this time of social distancing and isolation. It's so funny. I was just talking to a friend about, you know, the silver lining in the midst of all all of this seemingly dark cloud. Um, so for us, it's, um, we're all we're all home. That's a lot, you know, to be home 24-7. We have three children under 10, basically. You know, it can be a little wild. But the flip side is yesterday I left my little home office for lunch and sat and played checkers with my seven-year-old. And that's not a lunch meeting I get to have very often. So that's really, you know, wonderful and sweet. I would also say there's so many um, examples of digital connection. Uh, versions of that for us. My wife did a, uh, an internet story time Saturday morning and read some stories and sang some songs and played her ukulele and it was just a really sweet moment. So on one hand, this is a disruption. On the other hand, there's hundreds and thousands of little silver linings all over the place. It's more important than ever to do the work that, uh, that we're in place to do. I'm Haley Taylor and thanks for listening to this episode of The Rough Draft Diaries. 